In this tutorial, I'll explain what smart flows are and show you how you can use this feature to dramatically decrease the amount of time spent following up with customers and performing routine tasks. Smart flows bring behavioral targeting to Bright Alive. A smart flow is a sequential series of actions that are triggered by a system event or customer behavior. For instance, you can tell the program to automatically send an appointment confirmation email when an appointment is booked, thus saving you from having to send it manually. To find the smart flows feature, click settings, then click smart flows. Now out of the box, Bridal Live comes with three smart flows that are the most common. A new bridal appointment, a bridal appointment completed, and a bridal gown sold. You can add and modify as many smart flows as you'd like. From this screen, you can modify an existing smart flow by selecting it from the list or clicking add to add a new one. Let's look at how smart flows are set up by using the new bridal appointment flow as an example. You can see that each flow has a name and a status. You have the option of inactivating flows if you want to temporarily suspend them. Next, you'll see the triggered by field, which controls when the smart flows show up on the screen. This smart flow is triggered by an appointment being added, but there are a bunch of other triggers as well. On some of the trigger types, you have the option of providing an additional trigger criteria. In this case, we're setting up a flow to trigger only when a bridal appointment is being booked. Now that we've set up our trigger, we can begin specifying which actions we'd like to have Bridal Live perform. Each action type we specify below will appear as a separate item on the Smart Flows pop up window. To add an action, Click the button of the step that you would like to add. In this case, we have two send email steps. One to send the appointment confirmation email immediately, and another to schedule the appointment reminder to go out one day before the appointment date. Before you can select the email template that you'd like to send it from the dropdown, you have to add the email template itself to Bright Alive. And that's done by clicking on Settings, Messaging, and email templates. You'll also notice the selected upon pop-up option. Select yes for this option if you would like the SmartFlow step to be checked when it's displayed to the user. You'd only want to set this value to no if you want the person taking the action on the SmartFlows to be required to manually select the option before it takes place. We'll see how this is used in just a minute. The next type of action we can set up is a send text message action. This works the same way as the email step, except that it allows you to select from a list of text message templates instead of email templates. Before you can send a text message with a smart flow, you need to add the text message template. And that can be set up by going to Settings, Messaging, Text Message Templates. Next, we have the Create Task action. This allows you to automate the creation of tasks for you or your staff. This is frequently used to create a task to send either handwritten thank you letters after a bridal gown is sold or schedule a follow-up call for a bride that didn't buy. Let's see how that would be set up. First, you select your task type. Next, you would optionally enter a description, task priority, the associate responsible for completing this task, and the due date you'll almost always want to associate it with the contact. And then we see the selected upon pop-up option again. Now let's look at the system action steps. System actions are handy for doing a lot of advanced functions in Bright Alive. For instance, when using a system action to add a contact to a MailChimp list, you can trigger a drip email sequence to go out to brides that purchase a gown from you. The drip sequence would be sent through MailChimp but Bright Alive would be responsible for adding the person to that list that would then trigger MailChimp to send the emails to the contact. With system actions, you can also automatically categorize brides based on the behavior that they show in your store. For instance, when a bride buys a bridal gown, you can assign her to the bridal gown purchase category. This is where we should talk about the selected upon pop-up option. In some cases, especially with the category assignment, you would want to require the person performing the smart flows to make the appropriate selection. This is often used when assigning a category to a contact after an appointment is completed because you often don't know the outcome of the appointment 
while you're creating the smart flow. If the contact leaves without buying, you might want to assign the contact to the no buy category. However, since there is no way for Bright Alive to know that the person didn't buy when we're creating the smart flow, this is something you or your staff would have to manually select when the smart flow pops up. System actions can also be used to prompt you to perform a follow-up action. For instance, you can set it up to prompt you to schedule another appointment or to create a transaction. Now, let's look at this smart flow in action. We'll go out to the calendar and book a bridal appointment. I'll create an appointment for Tom Jones for Saturday. After clicking the Save and Close button, we'll see the smart flows pop up with all of our actions displayed. Clicking the Perform Actions button will kick off each of these steps. Now, let's go to Tom's profile to see the emails that were sent to him. Smart flows are the best way to add structure to your internal operations in Bright Alive. The combination of triggers allows you to create flows for nearly every customer behavior. Have fun building your flows. Be sure to test all of the flows that you create before you release them to the wild. The best way to do this is by pretending to be a customer and trigger the smart flow and make sure all of the steps were performed the way you expected. And this concludes the smart flows tutorial.